This annotated lecture focuses on writing qualitative research questions. You should view it prior to completing your project idea assignment. In this module, we'll discuss and tackle the following objectives. You'll be able to distinguish between qualitative and qualitative research. You'll select a research topic and a site aligned with your selected choice text. And you'll begin writing qualitative research questions or RQs that are aligned with your choice text or your dissertation and practice assignment. First, we begin by exploring the important differences between qualitative and quantitative research methods. In the social sciences, there are three major types of research, quantitative methods, qualitative methods, and myths methods research that blends both quantitative and qualitative approaches. Let's delve into some of the important features of qualitative research. Qualitative research focuses on making sense or interpreting social and human phenomena, things like experiences, behaviors, organizational functioning, social movements, interactional relationships, and descriptions of culture. These phenomena are studied in natural settings, and the investigators interpret phenomena in terms of meanings people bring or derive from them. This is a very important distinction when thinking about the function of qualitative research. In qualitative work, the researcher is the primary instrument of data collection and analysis. Qualitative research involves field work and going out to see things and to observe them in their natural environment. And very importantly, qualitative work attends to low inference descriptive data. By low inference descriptive data, we mean that the transcripts just provide the facts without judgment or interpretation. K-12 administrators may be familiar with this process of collecting low inference observation data from the process of teacher evaluation common in many of our public schools. Qualitative research methods have a rich historical tradition in many fields, including ethnography, phenomenology, biography, and more recently, grounded theory. Importantly, qualitative research attends to description of the how versus the how many. It's an inductive and open process in which the investigator builds concepts, hypotheses, and theories from analysis of the data. And the data is primarily interviews and other observations. The data collection process and analysis is an iterative process, meaning that it continues and builds off of what is emerging. And finally, the investigator returns to the data with new questions and ideas to explorers until there is a very deep understanding of the phenomenon or the issue. Some of the inceptions embedded in qualitative versus quantitative research are primarily the focus in qualitative research on looking at relationships from the lens of observable cases, whereas quantitative research looks for correlations demonstrated through statistical analysis. Other key differences include the purpose, the role of the researcher, and the primary design. In qualitative research, the focus and the purpose is understanding people's perspectives, whereas in quantitative research, the focus is on causal explanations, again built through statistical analysis of correlation and other relationships. In qualitative research, the researcher's role is one of empathic understanding, whereas in quantitative research, the researcher pursues the relationship with its subject which is detached and objective. Finally, the design of these research methods is quite different. In qualitative designs, they are flexible and emergent, meaning that through an iterative process, they may change as the observation data begins to unfold. Whereas in quantitative research, the design is described as a priori and inflexible. Once the hypothesis is locked in, it is followed through to its natural conclusion. 
There are other really important differences between qualitative and quantitative research listed here. I want to focus primarily on the writing and the differences in the writing style between these research methods. In qualitative research, uh, there is a real focus on thick description through writing. And so you'll see stories and narrative and quotations, illustrative quotations that support findings that deepen our understanding of a particular topic or context. Whereas in quantitative research, the focus and the types of writing is quite different. There's more precise and technical language, um, and there's a focus on numerical representation. I note this important difference because in your choice critique assignment, one of the purposes of having you read a qualitative research book is that I want you to really be cognizant of the writing and the thick descriptions of the site, the participants, and the author's observations. Note the important distinctions between this genre of writing and the quantitative reports you've read before. Stories are powerful and memorable. They have a concrete, vivid, and meaningful flavor that often proves far more convincing and memorable to a reader, particularly other researchers, policymakers, and those that are practitioners. Their reports include explanations of processes and context and derive explanations, as you'll do in your dissertations and practice. And also, they enable the investigator to address complex social issues where little is understood. Next, let's delve into selecting a research topic and research site. For our non-EDD students, your topic selection will be based on your choice text for the course. Here are our four choice text options. Each is a qualitative research study, which has been published as a book. From our prior class, it may be helpful for you to get some illuminating examples of how this research study will take place. For a group of students that selected The Dream Keepers by Gloria Ladson Billings, which focuses on the adoption of culturally relevant practices and pedagogy to impact the success of African American children, the group located their research in several predominantly African American churches in Jackson and Memphis. They conducted focus groups with parents in these churches to ascertain their perspectives on this research question. What are the qualities of teachers and characteristics for effective teaching of African-American children? Another example from our prior class involved a group of students that selected Choosing Colleges by Patricia McDonough. I assisted them with locating their field research at the College Initiative which is an after-school enrichment program that works with low-income high school students beginning their freshman year to successfully prepare for college. Based on their research site, the group formulated the following qualitative research questions. Which factors, cost, distance, prestige, peer and parental pressure, are the most important to a student's college choices? What role has a college initiative played in students' college choices? As you can see, in this class, your choice text is a jumping off point for your field research projects. Finally, let's review some criteria for writing qualitative research questions. Here are three types of qualitative research questions. Questions that answer first, what happened? Second, what was the meaning to people of what happened? And third, what happened over time? Here we avoid such words as impact, effect, and cause as they imply quantitative measurements. Here's an example following that approach. A doctoral student researching the efficacy of Metro Nashville Public Schools homework hotline program Develop the following qualitative research questions following the model. Number one, how does the homework hotline operate? Number two, how does homework hotline support the academic needs of middle school students? And finally, which factors influence the sustainability of the homework hotline program? For our EDD students, 
it may be helpful to reconsider your phase three questions for this project. Your phase three questions are a part of your dissertation and practice outline. The first goal area focuses on goal attainment, which is a quantitative question. In this example, the question focuses on how did the action plan work in achieving the numerical goals of the intervention? Again, numerical goals is your keyword indicating that this will give you a quantitative measure. So thinking about pre and post test scores or some other measurable output to measure would answer this question. Questions two, three, and four of your phase three questions are the qualitative questions. Question two focuses on implementation and can be phrased, how did the intervention process work and what changes are evident in practice? Again, this question should be modified to speak to the particular intervention or program that you look to evaluate and implement. Question three focuses on intervention elements. It is also a qualitative question. It's phrased as, which elements of the intervention contribute to positive outcomes? And then finally, problems and constraints. This is the final qualitative nature question. Which elements of the intervention pose problems or constraints to sought after outcomes? In this annotated lecture, we've discussed the differences between quantitative and qualitative research methods. You've Receive some criteria for selecting your research topic and site, and then also reviewed criteria for writing qualitative research questions that are aligned with your choice text or dissertation and practice. As always, I'm just an email or phone call away if you have any questions or concerns. I look forward to hearing from you.